Hello friends, I'm Crystal and today I will be sharing my favorite swim gear. I have been a swim and water polo player for the past four years so I have gone through a ton of gear. If you also have any favorites, please share that in the comments below. Okay, so first off, you need a bag to keep all your gear in. I use this cute little Ketro bag for practice and this duffel bag for swim meets. This one is made by Puma. During my first two years, I only used this duffel bag, but when junior year hit, I was carrying a ton of books, my regular school backpack, and my lunch, and some days my viola as well, so I'd rather not add a huge duffel bag to that. I like this Ketro bag because it's really easy to carry, and it fits all of my stuff in it as well. As you can see here, I've got all my swim stuff in here. Both of these bags are really good quality. I've used this Ketro bag for the past two years, and it's still in really good condition, except that it's a bit dirty. I've had this Puma bag for nearly my whole high school career, so almost four years. And it is a bit beat up. You can see the edge is fraying a bit here, and also the zipper in the front fell off just this year. But considering the treatment that I put it through, I'm surprised it's still intact. I bought this from Ross, but I don't even know if they sell the exact same model still, because I tried looking online but I couldn't find it. But there are a ton of duffel bags to choose from. Now on to the next piece of equipment, a swimsuit. Some of you might think you don't need this, but trust me, you do. My favorite swimsuit is the Speedo Endurance one. It is super durable, has a nice design, and will make you feel like a supermodel. Okay, I ran out of poses. Speedo does have a style that says only Speedo on it, but I don't recommend it. It has a very low cut, and whenever we did dives, it would fall. I might have flashed a couple people, but no one ever said anything, and I'd like to keep it like that. Also, the suit with only Speedo on it is kind of flimsy. I swim five days a week, two hours a day, and it would only last me about three months before it got too loose to wear, and also, the protective layers start flaking off. While the Speedo Endurance it lasts me about six months, so even though only Speedo is cheaper and I am all about saving money, I would say in this case just spend a bit more for the better quality. Next up are caps. Here's a short tutorial on how to cap yourself. First, tie your hair into a bun. Then, put both hands into the cap, pull it open, and put it on top of your head. The long hair cap can be pulled down over your eyes if you ever want to play Marco Polo. I usually keep my ears sticking out of the cap so I can listen to the water talk to me. I like the silicone Speedo swim cap. I like the long hair one even though I don't have long hair right now because I can pull it lower so it's less likely to fall off. This cap is super durable and I've used my first one for almost three years. I don't have it anymore, not because it broke, but because I let my friend borrow it and then she lost it. But it's okay, swim caps are like hair ties. Half the time, you're not going to get them back. I also like to use latex caps. These have better grip and don't slip around as much, but they are thinner than silicone caps so they rip pretty easily. I go through about five latex caps a year. I like to buy from the brand Synergy. I will be including the links to the gear that I use in the description box below. I personally like to double cap for practice because it keeps my hair drier and better protected from the chlorine. But I am the only one on my team that does that. No matter what you do, your hair will always get a bit wet. I even tried triple capping once, but that just gave me a massive headache and my hair still got wet. For my goggles, I also like to buy from you guessed it, Speedo. Speedo just has really good swim gear. So here's a pro tip. When these goggles break, it's usually the strap or where the nose piece and the eye piece connect. So that would be right here. You can see that this strap already has a small tear in it. So you always wanna carry around an extra strap with you. I have this bungee cord one, which is less likely to break, but I still prefer 
the flat strapped ones. And then when it breaks at the nose and eyepiece area, like this is what it looks like when it breaks. So you can see this end is no longer there, so you can't use this one to connect it. But you can use the other side where it's still connected and not broken. Keep this so when you break another pair, you can put them together and then you will get three goggles for the price of two. For an example, just pretend this one's not broken. You would just combine the two. These goggles aren't cheap, so make the most out of them. You will also need a towel. I love these Nambaji microfiber towels because they're super small and portable, gentle for your skin, but absorbent enough to dry yourself. I actually have four of these towels. I would have five, but someone stole my brown one. I got my pink and purple towels for this year, but when they arrived, the coronavirus ended our season. Which sucks, but I guess all I had to do was showing them off on YouTube. But I am actually really sad that I won't be able to finish my last year's swim. For swim meets, I do bring a thicker towel because this will only dry you like two times in a row. And for swim meets, when you're getting in and out multiple times, you do need something thicker. Speaking of swim meets, you will also need a parka. Your school will usually provide this, but make sure you bring them along with you. Because when you're wet and there is a nice little breeze, you will freeze. If there's a breeze, you will freeze. At swim meets, I wear three layers, a towel, a poncho made out of towel material, and my parka. And I still get cold. You also want to bring some moisturizer and sunblock to protect your skin and keep it healthy. I use the Tri-Swim Moisturizer and the Shiseido and Skin Aqua Sunblocks, but I will go further in depth about skincare for swimmers in another video. And last but not least, you need a water bottle. Even though you can't tell, you sweat a lot in the pool. You don't want to get dehydrated, so leave your water bottle at the edge of the pool so you can drink from it in between swim sets. I recommend a metal water bottle because if you have an outdoor pool, it's going to be out in the sun and if your bottle is plastic, there's a chance that chemicals might leach into your water. We want our water to be good for us, not toxic. Also, reusable bottles are just better for the environment. Mine is a simple modern 32 ounce Summit water bottle from Target. I finished this whole thing in one practice. When I went to school, I would actually bring two water bottles, one for classes and one for practice, because water is life. Again, the links to the gear that I use will be in the description box below this video. I do get a commission if you use my links to purchase anything at no cost to you, so please help out a fellow swimmer. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, please like and subscribe, and I wish you the best of luck on your path to becoming a true waterbender. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye!